Experimental Research Design Treatments Replications Units Randomizations Blocking Experimental research, also called experimentation, is research conducted through a scientific approach, using two or more variables, in which a hypothesis is scientifically tested. An experiment, is a plan for the collection and analysis of data. The observations obtained from a carefully planned, and well-designed experiment provides valid and reliable data. An experimental design which gives the smallest error, is supposed to be the best design for a particular type of investigation. The design of experiment involves proper allotment of treatment to the available experimental units. The treatment, is the factor whose effect is to be studied. Examples are application of drugs, feeds, conditions, methods, etc. The experimental units, are the subjects or individuals upon which an experiment is conducted. Example are laboratory animals, primates, cattle, buffalo, sheep, goat, poultry, plant, a plot of land, etc. Experimental designs are broadly classified into two categories. First, the single-factor experiments. These are the experiments in which only a single factor varies, while all others are kept constant. Second, multi-factor experiments. These type are used where the varying effects of more than one factor are to be determined. And multi-factor experimental designs are also known as factorial experiments. Under the single-factor experimental designs are Completely randomized design, or CRD Randomized block design, or RBD, and the Latin square design, or LSD. Here is a clear illustration of the different types of experimental research designs. Designing an experiment is very important. To get maximum information from the available resources. To know the effect of treatment on experimental units. And to make comparison between treatments. To know whether the difference between the effect of two treatments is significant or not. To ensure a well-defined method of statistical analysis of data. To avoid an ill-designed experiment which does not give proper estimates of parameters and comparisons between treatments. The design of experiment is essential to get all the important treatment effects to be compared independently. Here are the principles you should follow when designing an experiment. You have to consider the objective of the experiment. There must be variability in the experimental units. Precision required in comparison to be made among various treatment effects must be very clear to the experimenter. The experiment design must be least complicated. The treatments that have been previously tested and proven shall be kept as a control. Statistical analysis of data should be simple, clear, and easy as far as possible. The following methods will serve to increase the efficiency of the experiments. First, 
randomization in the allotment of treatment to the experimental units. Second, replication under each treatment. And last, by using local control, also known as blocking. Blocking, or the grouping of experimental units, is made to make them homogeneous under each group. Randomization, is a process employed to avoid bias in the allotment of treatments to the experimental units. To do randomization, you may use the lottery system, the table of random numbers, or any randomizer sites available online. Replication is the number of times the effect of treatment is measured. In other words, it is the number of observations made under each treatment. For example, there can be three different types of treatment, T1, T2, and T3. And for each of the treatment, there are four replications. Take note, replication is very useful for proper estimation of error component of variance. To reduce the magnitude of standard error, thereby to make the design of experiment efficient and precise. And to decide the number of observation to be recorded under each treatment. We need replication, or multiple observations. Because a single observation under each treatment, cannot provide the proper estimation of error component of variance. Just remember that each observation is the sum of the effect of treatment, effect of experimental unit, and effect of uncontrolled extraneous factor, or error. Replication reduces the standard error when comparing treatments in detecting smaller differences between treatments and to increase efficiency and precision of the experiment. This illustrates how increasing the replication N1 and N2 reduces the standard error of difference of two treatment means. To determine the required number of observations to be recorded under each treatment, we can use the formula for minimum error degrees of freedom. df is equal to t times n minus 1. Let's have an example. Suppose there are four treatments or feeds are to compare. If error df is 10, then number of replications per treatment can be solved using the formula. Now, we got 4 replications, as a minimum requirement. In this experimental research, with 4 treatments, and 4 replications per treatment, we can determine the total number of experimental units. It's 4 times 4 equals 16 experimental units. Here is an illustration of an experiment. With 4 treatments, 4 replications per treatment. Which results to 16 experimental units required minimum. Another method used to reduce variability, and increase the efficiency of experiment, is local control, or blocking. Blocking arranges the units into groups or strata, which are homogeneous or similar. The blocks can be based on breed, race, 
sex, age, or location. This is an example of an experiment using a blocks. It is a study on four different swine breeds that were given four different type of feeds.